Hello, hello. Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. And right now we are in a winter wonderland and maybe we'll just do a walk today. What do you think about that? Maybe just some B-roll nature scenes, um, pictures of my husband and my dog. I don't know, what do you think? No, we're here to talk about small booktubers! <laughs> okay everyone, I am in from the cold. Let's get a cup of tea. Step away from the TV, step away from your smartphone, get a beverage, get a snack, get a coffee, get a hot tea, get an energy drink, get a beer, get a glass of wine. I'm gonna make a little bit of an adult beverage hot tea today. So we'll wait for you, get your drink and come on back. And also before we get started, make sure to like this video, comment down below. Let me know if you have any booktubers that you love. Um, so many people are shouting out booktubers. It's awesome, it's amazing. I can't keep up with everything, but I'm trying my best. Um, so comment and subscribe, subscribe to my channel. If you keep coming back to watch this video and you're not a subscriber, shame on you. <laughs> Also, as a reminder, on my channel homepage is this little guy. And he is a giveaway that I'm going to be doing whenever I hit the thousand subscriber number. It is a signed, illustrated copy of Neil Gaiman's Neverwhere, signed by Neil Gaiman. I have two copies. One is over here, and this is my extra copy. This one I'm giving away to one of you. But you have to be a subscriber. For today's tea and treat of the week, I've chosen what I've had in my pantry is Harney and Sons Hot Cinnamon Spice. If you've had this tea, comment down below and let me know how much you enjoy it. This tea is not just your average cinnamon spice, this is hot cinnamon spice. So imagine if you're in the States, a melted cinnamon Jolly Rancher. That's basically what the tea tastes like. It has a lot of sweetener in it. It has a lot of cinnamon fire in it. It is absolutely delicious. Um, if you're not from the States and you don't know what a Jolly Rancher is, um, it, it tastes just like they got something that has hot cinnamon flavor to it, but it's more on the sweeter end. It is very cinnamon stick like. It's just good. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. So to kick up my hot cinnamon spice, especially on a winter day like today, when it's 15 degrees outside, I add a little dash of Fireball. And Fireball is hot cinnamon whiskey here. Um, I'm sure it's sold in the States, around the world, not sure around the world, but um, it is a sweet hot cinnamon whiskey. Uh, just put a little dash and it will turn into a hot toddy before you know it. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Can you see it? Yeah, it's good. And it smells amazing. It smells like one of those air freshener brooms that people put in their houses in the autumn, just full on cinnamon. And with a little bit of that fireball whiskey, mmm, delicious. Highly recommend it. If you haven't tried it, give it a go. Earlier in the week, I posted a review video of a cookbook that I picked up a couple weeks ago, and I've been making recipes out of that. And the first one I did was a cherry coconut um, macaroon cookie um, that had a meringue base to it. Yesterday with a snowstorm, I tried, and I think I successfully made homemade Oreo cookies. Can you see that? Now, this is the smallest one out of all of them that I made, but the recipe is actually pretty simple. Um, one recipe made two batches, and I only made one batch, um, and it's basically uh, almost like a shortbread cookie. 
So you form it into a log and then you slice it and then you bake it. I'll insert video here. Uh, and then you make the filling for uh, the Oreo cookie and put them together. These are extremely decadent and extremely rich. So uh, I had to pick the smallest one because I need to watch what I'm eating. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm -hmm. It's good. If I could find the recipe, I'll link it below. But the cookbook is The Messy Baker and I will put a card here if you want to watch that video. Oh my God, it's so good. All right, glasses. I gotta get my notes. Let's talk about small booktubers. All right, let's get down to business. I have my sheet of paper. I had to start writing all these channels down because I'm in the habit of making this uh, series and every Sunday there's gonna be a new episode and I only wanna cover like four or five per episode but there's so many more of you out there that are just creating awesome channels so I have to write them down because I can't, I just can't remember them all. Okay, so first channel I want to highlight, it has been around for a while, let me see. Okay, so she has been on YouTube for a little uh, over a year, and then she started focusing in on BookTube about two months ago. And this channel is called Created by Louise, and she is based in the south of France. So if you want to see some of the south of France, absolutely you need to subscribe to her channel. She has done um, the TBR book tag, what I read in February, reading habits tag, weekend on the French Riviera reading blog, um, let's see, book haul and current reads, um, wrap ups, book shopping on the French Riviera. So she has 14 subscribers right now. She's been on YouTube for about two months. Give her channel a like and I'm telling you, it is actually refreshing. It's a refreshing channel. You get to escape a little bit. You get to travel without leaving your house. It's fantastic. Give Created by Louise a peek and a like and a subscribe. This next channel, I think it's going to blow you away. I really do. I stumbled on his channel um, a week ago, two weeks ago, maybe. He did the booktube movie tag and that's really how I find a lot of new channels. Um, he has 15 subscribers. The channel name is Creatures Book Reviews. He is just the, he has such calming energy, it's awesome. And I'm telling you, the voice needs to do book narration. It's, it has that DJ-like quality. Like it's deep, it has its own colors to it. Like it is just awesome. And I think you'll agree with me when you hear him. Um, he has over 3,000 books in his library. And his collection reminds me of something that Michael K. Vaughn or Criminali would be interested in. So guys, if you're watching this, so please do check out Creatures Book Reviews. He has two book hauls, a book two newbie tank, and a book review on there. So give him a peek, give him a like, and give him a subscribe. The next channel I would like to highlight is Jack and the Bookstack. That's J-A-K and the Bookstack. Um, her channel has been devoted to booktube strictly for about the past month. She has the booktube newbie tag. She also has some annotation videos. She has annotated The Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, she has annotated War and Peace. And she also, her most recent video from today uh, is How to Annotate Stephen King. And I believe she did The Shining and The Stand. Um, she has some book versus movies. She has some book rankings. Um, very cool information. Um, I love her energy. So if her channel interests you, give her a peek, a like, and a subscribe. The last channel I'd like to highlight for today is the Eclectic Reader. Um, this channel has 25 subscribers. Uh, it has been active on BookTube for about, hold on, let me check, for about longer than that. Wow. Okay. So she has been on booktube for seven months, 
seven months and she only has 25 subscribers. So let me give you some of the videos that she's done. Most recently, two days ago, she did a middle grade March vlog. She's done a February wrap up, a March TBR, March reading challenges, favorite books from 2014 through 2021. That's a heck of a list. Um, Booktube newbie tag, uh, cozy mystery newbie, and introducing her channel um, from seven months ago. So give the eclectic reader a peek, see if you dig her energy, and make sure to like and subscribe. We are here to lift everyone up. We're gonna do one more, people, just for good luck because it's March, St. Patrick, look at the Irish. So the last channel I'm gonna mention is a channel called Lisa Reads A Lot. Um, Lisa Reads A Lot has 20 subscribers. She has been on booktube for, let's see, for about two months. Um, she has videos um, from books I bought over Thanksgiving break, books from a Barnes and Noble sale, book on haul, the booktube newbie tag, reading Colleen Hoover's uh, Verity, um, reading more Colleen Hoover, reading more Colleen Hoover, uh, a new romance, a mini book haul, a bookshelf tour, part one, um, what fantasy novel she's reading right now, and her latest is her March TBR for 2022. So give Lisa read a, Lisa reads a lot. Give her channel a peek, a look, and a subscribe if her energy and content jives with yours. All right, let me grab my tea. All right. So I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone continues to enjoy these videos. Comment down below, let me know, is this something that you look forward to on Sundays or um, something that you always seem to watch on Sundays? Um, still great reaction from the bigger uh, booktube community. Um, the reason I do this is to highlight some channels that maybe don't have the right SEO, maybe um, you know just haven't caught the vibe of bigger booktubers or you know, um, haven't flowed it into anyone's algorithm because I am here to fight the algorithm. It seems as if booktube is broken up into neighborhoods, right? Like we see the same kind of content from the same type of people. Well, I am here to cross the train tracks to go and see what other booktubers are doing in other towns and to bring them all in. So if I could screw up the algorithm and mix it up for everybody where everyone benefits, that's my goal. I hope that made sense. Again, everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I hope you're all taking care of yourself. These are stressful days that we are living in, but thank God for booktube and thank God for books. Get that break that you need um, from the news. You know, let's keep positive energy flowing. Um, I really think that's important these days. So until next time, goodbye for now. I can't even tell you how good this is. The amount of butter in this cookie is absolutely insane. But I could pronounce all the ingredients. I have to remember there's whiskey in here. I can't be chugging it. <laughs> And also, don't drink tea with whiskey and drive, okay? It's still not good. Right. You don't want to get an RUI, a reading under the influence. <laughs> I made it funny. You know, but remember, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. I'd like to highlight, highlight? Highlight, is that one? Give him a like and give him a, 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 a